this is the uh, second problem uh, of gate uh, 2007 and the video solution is uh, given here uh, we will state uh, the problem first uh, uh, this of two marks and it is on the flip-flops the following binary values are applied to the X and Y inputs of the NAND latch shown in the figure in the sequence indicated below. X is equal to 0, Y is 1, X is equal to 0, Y is 0, X is equal to 1 and Y equals to 1. So these are the three sequence of events they are to be applied to the latch and uh, says that uh, the uh, corresponding stable uh, P and K outputs will be and we have to find out out of uh, these four options uh, uh, which are the corresponding stable uh, outputs for these inputs being applied the inputs being applied are these options and uh, they are applied the circuit diagram is given here this circuit diagram is for uh, this is for the NAND latch the circuit diagram is for the NAND latch and you will notice here this is input X this is input Y this is P and Q so what we observe in this uh, problem is uh, uh, sequence of uh, inputs are being applied and uh, uh, we have to find the corresponding outputs and uh, we have to determine the stable outputs that means the outputs which are stable we have to identify that those states only and uh, it consists of uh, uh, the NAND latch, latch and inputs are to be applied to this NAND latch and we know that uh, this NAND latch is the active load device that means active load means the operations of S and R will be active when they are low that means they are zero then only they will be active S is the set operation and this is the reset operation set operation means setting output to 1 and resetting means setting the output to 0 that means these are the two set and reset conditions we notice here that uh, inputs are X and Y are the inputs P and Q are the outputs we can write here uh, the these inputs in the standard uh, notation uh, so we are replacing this X by S bar and this R bar bar indicates that this uh, active low uh, uh, input flip-flop and this P and Q we replace by Q and Q bar if it is Q it's a Q complement okay now uh, if corresponding to terminals or standards uh, NAND latch are this we have shown now we apply X equals 0 and Y equals to 1 X is 0 means S bar is 0 ok S bar is 0 and Y Y is R bar R bar is that is Y is 1 so uh, this is uh, 0 uh, this says that S bar is 0 and this is uh, 1 R bar is 1 so uh, what we observe here that uh, which is low this is 0 and this 1 so this set terminal is low that means it is 0 so set terminal is low that means the uh, this flip flop will be set and setting the flip flop means it will be 1 ok so so this set is active so this will be 1 and Q bar because it's a complement this will be 0 ok 
so this is the state here and that means uh, p is 1 and q is 0 now we apply the second input that is uh, x is equal to 0 and y equals 0 when x is 0 and y is equal to 0 that means s bar is 0 r bar is 0 both set and reset are active so indeterminate state that means both set and reset cannot be active because set will say that uh, get get me the output 1 q should be 1 and reset says that it should be 0 so both the the set and reset cannot be active so this is an indeterminate state and uh, one input to both NAND is 0 here we know that from this condition one input is low here so both the outputs will be 1 because this is a NAND gate and NAND gate if one input is low the output will be 1 that means P will be 1 and Q will be 1 this is the this state here when the uh, change is taking place now uh, this state uh, is not the uh, stable state this state is not the stable state uh, the reason being why it's not a stable state because if s is uh, if the here uh, we observe here that means here this is a q and this q bar if one output is one the other has to be zero otherwise the state will not be stable state anyway now we for c for x is equal to one and y is equal to one for x is equal to one and y equals to one uh, that means both are one here this also one and this is also one okay both are one here that means neither the set is active nor the reset is active so uh, no input is active and if the input is not active that means it will remain in the previous state that is what so no input is active for s bar equals to 1 and r bar equals to 1 because no input is 0 so it will be the previous state that is p equals to 1 and q is equal to 1 uh, but we know that this is not a stable state so option uh, which is uh, given here C option uh, no rather D option is the option which has uh, uh, P is equal to 1 and Q is equal to 1 but this is not the stable output so this option is not the right choice but the option C uh, where P equals to 1 and Q is equal to 1 have been replaced by two states it says that either P equals to 1 and Q is equal to 0 or P equals to 0 or Q equals to 1 that means the out will, will output will settle to any of these values that means the output here uh, we see from this we observe here in option D the last state is p equals to 1 the second sequence output is this third sequence output is also this this is okay so even the option d is the right option but uh, because it is being said uh, you have to see the stable outputs then the only option here is this p equals to 1 and q is equal to 1 uh, could have two options either p is 1 q equals 0 or p is 0 and q equals 1 see so that's why the c is the uh, right option here okay thank you